All right, guys, so finally, five months later, my uh, new toy has arrived, new side-by-side. Uh, <laughs> five months to come in. Uh, this is in Canada for all the Americans watching. Uh, but it's here, finally. Just went and picked it up this morning. I just literally took it for just a little ride around the edge of the field. Uh, so I wanted to take this video while it's still brand new. So let me switch it around here and I'll show you what I went with. Uh, so I'm going from, I had a... Uh, 900, 2016, 900 trail, 50 inch. And then I went to the 1000S, 60 inch. And then I went to a YZ 1000R, which is an extremely fun machine. Uh, I just wanted to try something new. This is why I went with uh, this machine here. Uh, so let's check it out. So here it is, RZR. This is a sport model. I wasn't gonna spend the 40,000 on the Ultimate. That's a bit excessive. I like the color package here. I wasn't sure about it, but then once I seen it in person, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, it's got a little mud on it, just like I said, on the edge of the field. It's literally got like two kilometers on it, I think. They had to go around the building a couple times, see what the dealer. Uh, so I just got it this morning. I'm gonna take it out. I put the windshield on. I ordered uh, the half windshield. I got the door inserts, which I'll be putting my vents on. Uh, check those out at SideBySideVents.com. Uh, I'm not putting those in today. It's pretty hot out, so I'm just going to leave those out for today. Uh, I got to make a roof for it still. I couldn't obviously couldn't make one until I get the machine, so I'll have that made next week. Uh, now I'm going to figure out what light bar I'm going to go with also. And basically, that's all I'll put on these things. Uh, this is the this is 181 horsepower. Uh, I haven't really. I mean, I, I gave her pretty good in the field. It's definitely not. It's not lacking power, but it's. I gotta break this thing in still. So guys, why I went with this machine over any other one? Well, the Yamaha is just outdated. They need to update their, just need to update everything on it. They gotta get some more power out of it. Stuff, you know, anything like that. I didn't go with the Can-Am. I did a lot of research on both these. I mean, you're only talking a couple thousand difference for the Can-Am, it's more. Uh, for the Double R, this is the 64 wide too. I don't wanna go with the 72, I believe some of those can-ams are 74 uh, but I, I like the skinnier machine uh, this isn't as long as the can-am uh, you don't sit I don't know if anybody like can-am guys watching this but if you've never sat in the can-am x3 you sit really low in it really low to the ground and I, I didn't like that this is you sit fairly medium in it compared to the old RZRs uh, I've been in lots of other RZRs so I'm gonna definitely do a comparison video but this is just about this machine here um, I'm taking it out here as soon as I finish filming this and then I'll definitely talk about it after I take it for a good ride We've got some we got a couple little trails around here So yeah, here it is It's pretty nice so far. I mean uh, I've only I got to try one out the ultimate a friend of mine bought one of those But just up the road it was nothing major. So I, I'm looking forward to trying this out today seems well built like it's got all the nice hang arms on it. These are supposed to be good with clutches and belts. We'll find out. One thing I'm not going to do is take it easy because of the belt of the clutch. Uh, so the whole point I bought a YZ was to get away from that system. But like I said, Yamaha is just for some reason not updating their machine. Something with more power. I was going to go with the Talon. Uh, this is the same price as a Honda Talon. So... I mean, you need about 6000 bucks to put the Jackson Turbo Kit on a Honda, and you still don't have the suspension and whatnot on this. So I'm hoping the belt and clutches hold up. Like I said, guys, I'm not going to take it any easier on this than I did my Yamaha. I'm going to treat it the same, and we'll see what happens. They're saying guys are getting two, 3000 miles out of these clutches and belts, riding them hard. So I will find out, but I obviously got a spare belt with it. And I'm just going to run OEM Polaris. Because me and a lot of the other guys in the group with, were finding out we were running these Ultimax belts. And everybody was having clutch issues with them, blowing belts with like no miles on them. So clutches were fixed and everyone started running Polaris belts again and no one's having issues. So I don't know what's going on there, but I'm just going to keep running the Polaris factory belt in this thing. Hopefully I don't need to change it. Uh, we'll find that out real quick. Still can't go to Michigan uh, because we have a liberal government in charge on both sides of the border. So we're gonna do some Canada riding uh, soon. 
Just sucks it takes such a long drive to get up to Canada. Uh, this, now the sport model compared to the premium and ultimate, this has adjustable steering. This whole thing moves up and down, which is really all you need. It's got uh, the seats adjustable. These seats are super comfy too. If you haven't sat one of these yet, extremely comfortable seats. I'm leaving them. Uh, that bar is nice and easy to adjust. Uh, you got lots of storage in this one there. Glove box there. Uh, it's got a center console, a little storage space there. I also bought bags that go in the inside and they got a knee pad on them. Uh, I'm going to sell all that stuff. I just want to go take it for a good ride today. Uh, same with the harnesses. This model doesn't come with the retractable five point, but I have, I had them uh, throw those in. They gave me a really good deal on both harnesses, but they actually shorted me one when I opened the box. But I just talked to the dealer. He's, he's getting that figured out on Monday. They're going to get me another one. So I'll put those in when I get them both because you got to take both seats out, pull the center console up to get to everything. So I might as well do it all at once. But yeah, other than that, uh, you know, I'm going to put the stereo in it. I might find a ride command. I've been looking. So for everyone in the States that doesn't understand what us Canadians have to pay for things, this one here uh, with the harnesses thrown in, I was 31 eight out the door that was just pretty much the best I could deal I could find and I, like I said to wait five months no matter what deal I got it from I was waiting uh, it's got a one-year warranty on it I guess if you ordered after June 1st you only get a six-month warranty uh, hopefully I'm not gonna need the warranty if I do well I don't know I'll figure something out uh, it's got lots of storage in this like that box is huge when you actually see it. And I guess this box comes out. A couple screws pops right out for power washing, nice and easy. Uh, I'm gonna get the rear light uh, light on this too. Uh, lots of suspension travel. It seems like it's gonna be a pretty good machine. Everything's pretty well built. So I don't know, I like the steering wheel on it. We'll find out. I'm gonna put this thing through the, through the gears as soon as I can. Uh, the roll cage compared to the older style, like they're the XP styles, I guess, seems like it's built tougher. Like this thing could take a roll and not cave in on you. Uh, it sure looks like it. Maybe some guys can comment if they had any issues of roll these and bent the cage real bad. Yes, yeah, so we're going to find out. I guess all the recall from 2020s have been fixed. Uh, it doesn't have a hitch, but I do like how it's got the little hook on it. Uh, I'm keeping stock exhaust. I might put an Evo tune on it once it breaks in. I don't know. I'm going to see how fast it is, the way it is. Uh, those tires look good. I've heard good and bad about them. I'll see how they wear. I do do a lot of road riding around here because we don't have a lot of trails. Uh, they're really aggressive. I found that out in my lawn. As for the front, I, I'm probably not going to put any bumpers or anything on it. Everything seems good. Uh, so yeah guys there it is that's the new side by side so i will be getting a lot of footage with this uh, actually tomorrow we're having our annual derby so that video is going to be up uh, after this one maybe before this one i'm not sure so there it is i went with the rzr again this is my third one uh the first two you know clutch and belt issues after a thousand miles so we're gonna find out how this is a couple guys are riding the turbo s's in my group uh, my one brother has one no issues my brother's got i think 5,000 miles on his no clutch or belt issues so that's good and he's got evil tune on his so we shall see how this is going to work so there it is guys that's the new side by side i'm going to be using uh, i'll give a full review of on it probably after i get a few hundred miles on it I want to give a good honest review on it my first one in case anyone's watching this thinking about buying one because if you are you got months before you're going to get one even the 22s the guy was telling me he goes yeah he goes i have no idea he goes you're probably six months could be eight months you he goes i don't know because i know the 22s they changed a couple of little things i think it's got a little more horsepower and whatnot so yeah, there it is so if you guys haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this uh definitely do so there'll be lots more content coming up with this a lot more siding, side by siding now. Uh, I'll be going on some trips up in Canada. It sucks I can't go back to Michigan. It's it's way closer than going way up north here. Uh, I like the trails better in Michigan too. Uh, I wanted to do a West Virginia trip this fall. That's obviously not happening. We are literally stuck here in Canada and it sucks. 
I know way up northern Canada, if you live up there, it's a whole different world. We got to travel minimum five hours, six hours just to get trail riding. Where Michigan, we can be riding in two and a half hours, trailers, un trailers unloaded and riding. So anyways, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thanks for watching. And there's going to be a lot more to come uh, on this machine. A full review. I'm going to say 300 miles. So I'll do a 300 mile review just to... Uh, Anybody watching this thinking about getting one, I'll, I'll give you a good, honest opinion on it. So there it is, guys. Uh, thanks again for everybody that has subscribed. My channel's growing fast, and I'm going to get a lot more content coming up here. And don't forget to subscribe. So stay tuned. A lot more videos to come. Like I said, the Derby video is probably going to be after this one, which will be a day or two after I put this one up. Talk to you after, guys.